Jose, thanks for coming along. BT Sport has the Champions League now, the Europa League as well. Take us back in time, because very few people have your kind of experience in European football and your success in European football. Just take us back to the moment when you won it for the first time. No, my, my, my first European competition was, was the, the Europa League, at that time still with a cup. And was, um, you know, was a little bit like, like a thunder for me because uh, one and a half year before, I was coaching a very small team in Portugal, um, which objective was not to be relegated. And um, one and a half year later, um, I was playing and winning the, um, the UEFA Cup final. Uh, big final, Porto against Celtic. Celtic yeah. uh, probably the best Celtic of, uh, of the last uh, 20 years with Mar Martin O'Neill, Henry Clarsen, Neil Lennon, lots of good guys and it was a big final and was one of these finals with everything. 1-0, 1-1, 2-1, 2-2, one, 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 two, two, extra times, 3-2, amazing final. And this, the next season um, we won it, the Champions League with, with Porto too. And uh, was my first match in England against Man United. Yeah, we remember in it. the last <laughs> 16, where I prove that um, I was fast and uh, I could run you still 50, have the pace. 50 meters, <laughs> and uh, and in the end of the 50 meters, still have a, a big jump of, of happiness. And everything was, was too fast for me because I'm speaking about the first three years of my, of my career and uh, from zero I won both competitions and, and I can't forget it, obviously. What was the impact on you, though? Because as you say, you're a new coach. It changes the world's perception of you. You've suddenly made it very early. Yeah, when, when I started playing the, 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 the UEFA Cup and the, the, the season after the Champions League, I was doing with um, with the feeling of, of somebody that loves football, and uh, I was doing like uh, this is a, this is a plus in my career. My career is about um, try to be champion in Portugal with Porto, try to be dominant with Portugal in Porto. So we go to the European competitions and we go to enjoy. We go to 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 see where we are. Let's play against Man United. Let's see how far we are. Oh, we can win. So now let's try uh, with another one. We went with this with this uh, profile. But in fact, uh, I keep thinking that that Porto team was a fantastic team. And it was a pity that um, Portugal has no, and had no economical power to, to persuade us all to stay because I think that team was good enough to make history for more, for more years. But after the Champions League final, we all, we all left and uh, that team disappeared. And since now, uh, Portugal never had a chance to, to do it again. It's obviously very, very difficult, but it was fantastic for us because open opened a new perspective of, of career for all of us. You say that it was a bonus, it was something that you were overachieving, it was beyond expectation. That's changed for you now because of your success. People expect you to be there and thereabouts at the end of the season. Is it still as enjoyable? Yes, obviously yes. Uh, I won it again with, uh, with Inter. I was in lots of semi-finals with uh, Real Madrid and Chelsea. I lost semi-finals on penalties. I lost semi-finals on penalties where uh, the best penalty takers in the world, uh, they miss penalties. I lost a semi-final with a goal that was not a goal. Uh, today wouldn't be a goal. Today with goal line technology um, would be different. But, but the reality is that I have more than 100 matches in, in the Champions League. I won it twice. I want to win, obviously, uh, a certain time. I want to take these 100-something matches to 150, who knows, to 200. And I want to do it because I enjoy it very, very much by the, the pure football perspective, the perspective of let's play against the best teams of other countries, let's play against teams with 
different football cultures. Uh, we are in England in this moment. English football is a certain football. Let's play against an Italian, which is completely different profile. Let's play against a German, which is completely different profile. That's the part you seem to enjoy most, that sort of mental, tactical challenge, working out a puzzle, working out a way to exploit weaknesses in the opponent. And that happens more often in Champions League because of the different challenges. Yeah, it's different. Two years ago, when I, when I returned um, and I felt, um, I felt immediately that the experience of Chelsea playing Europa League was not good. Um, Europa League is a different competition. Europa League is a different level of competition for a different level of player and a different level of club. It's not good for a big club to go there and win it. Um, it's better for the evolution of the players and for the evolution of the team to be in the Champions League, even if you are not successful, even if you don't win it. It's better to be in the, um, in the Champions League. And uh, this is what I want to keep giving to my, to my players. And obviously, we are completely open. We are good enough to one season to win it. Uh, we are good enough for that. I think Champions League give us uh, a different thing than the Premier League give us because the Premier League is our competition and um, the Champions League is, is a competition that belongs to many different cultures. What do you think of the current European champions, Barcelona? And what did you think of the final against Juventus? You know, I think it was, uh, was a good final. The game could go in two directions. But as I was always saying, uh, a team with, uh, with Messi is a different team, is a different team. And even not being uh, far from it, the best game of his career, when the team was in trouble, he gets the ball, he does the action, and after that the goalkeeper saves and Suarez scores. So I think always that um, this kind of player can make uh, a difference. And the reality is that Messi won three Champions League with Barcelona with three different managers, I think it means... Means something. It means something. I prefer my Champions League against Messi. It means, means a lot for me uh, to, to, to win the Champions League with Inter, playing the, the, the two semi-finals against Messi, because Messi, Messi is Messi. And um, I think when, when he finishes his career, I think um, the map of European football is going to change a little bit. Was it dangerous to come back to Chelsea? It was dangerous. It was dangerous for many reasons. Uh, the first reason is um, the old say, don't go back where you were happy before. Why? Uh, because people love me here and Chelsea fans, they look at me as a uh, somebody that uh, was important in a certain moment of Chelsea history, why to come back uh, almost one decade uh, after to risk uh, the prestige and the passion you got. So f in that perspective was, was uh, a difficult uh, situation. And the second situation was because the Chelsea top team finished and uh, no more uh, uh, SCM, Akelele, Lampard, Ashley Cole, and Top Drogba, all these guys finish. And the third reason is the evolution of the Premier League in the sense of in this moment, even if you want to win the league, you risk to finish out of top four. Two seasons ago, Man United out of top four, last season, Liverpool out of top four and next season somebody will be also out of top four and when you, you start a season in a top club you can be champion, you can be out of, of, of top four so I think yes, risky And you're planning long term now because as you say yourself there's been in little patches of three years you, you success, move on, success, move on this time it looks like you're putting down proper roots yeah. I was ready for it it was something that Maybe 10 years ago, I don't want that for my career. Uh, 10 years ago, I want uh, different experiences. I want Italy, I want Spain, I want uh, uh, Real Madrid, I want uh, Scudetto. I want, I want to move and I want to try and I want to try to win in different countries. And I w want to try to make me uh, 
season after season a, a better manager. In this moment of of my career, I also want to try that that stability. And now I'm going to the third season at at Chelsea, and uh, I'm more than happy with with the profile of job I have now. You don't mind words like dynasty being used, you know, that sort of long-term project. No. What matters is that the owner and the board, they know I want to stay. They know that no other club in this moment of my career would, uh, would take me here, would, would take me out of Chelsea. Unless Chelsea thinks it's, it's, the, end of my, it's the end of my period. So in this moment, it's not even needed a contract because I know what the club feels the club knows what I'm I'm feeling so even without the contract I'm here to stay when you go back in time when you walked into the dressing room for your first time in charge have you always been confident or was it that fear, that moment? Because now when you walk into a dressing room, you command respect because of your record, because of who you are, you know how to win. Did you have to convince people at the start of your career? I never felt it. I never felt always it. Always confident? Yeah, always confident. Maybe because um, in this moment, it looks like we are in a generation where uh, the managers, one day they are a player or one day they are a pundit or one day they are at home and certainly they become managers. Um, before was was more difficult than that. And um, before I walked in a, in a dressing room as a manager, I had like uh, seven years being an assistant coach in some of the best clubs in in Portugal, some of the best clubs in the world, like Barcelona was being assistant of uh, the best manager of, of, of these generations, Mr. Robson, Mr. Van Gaal, uh, working with the best players of, uh, of the world, uh, Stoichkov, uh, Ronaldo, Nazario, Figo, uh, you know. And but that didn't daunt you? you didn't... No, that was a fantastic experience for me and, uh, and the fact that Mr. Robson and Mr. Van Gaal, they always gave me lots of responsibility, lots of trust. I was getting a lot of experience, not even dreaming about becoming a manager. I was just trying to be a good assistant. But before of that, uh, there is also a part of my of my life that uh, was also important. One was the time I was in, in college and sports college and investigating a lot and studying a lot and trying to create my own methodology, my own way of being a a coach, and there is even another part, which was, I was born uh, son of a football player, and uh, I was all my my youth uh, son of a football manager, and uh, you know my natural habitat. So um, when I walked into Benfica dressing room in in 2000 to be managed for the first time, I don't know the way they look to me. I know the way I look to the situation. And I look to the situation very calm, very confident, always knowing that uh, more important than the status or the name was the way I, I was working. And I was feeling and knowing that the moment we start working on the pitch, the players would realize that I was good. You say that coaches now appear from nowhere. They come suddenly without your background, without it's your easier. kind of experience. It's is it easier. easier because what the data's available? Because everyone has more statistics. No, I think it's just a cultural thing in my country. Uh, when uh, I started, I was um, the youngest one. Uh, it was not easy because uh, people were saying that I was too young. <laughs> um, I was the first without being a top player before that. Uh, in this moment is not an issue anymore. You don't need to be a, a former top player to become to become a, a manager. Uh, in my time, all the big clubs in Portugal, the the managers were foreign foreign coaches because the Portuguese were not good enough. In this moment, the Portuguese league has uh, 19 Portuguese coaches, one foreign. Um, 
the medium age is very, very low. People believe in the Portuguese coach. People <laughs> believe the new Mourinho is arriving. There are moments of, of change in, in, some, in some perspectives. And uh, in my country, that was the case. In other countries, similar situations happen uh, when Guardiola come to, to Spain. A new perspective was also uh, after him. And uh, in this moment, I think, uh, I think there is a new, a new way to look to the, to the management. And it's easier for the ones that are starting, much easier. Well, at the grand old age of 53, you've got your own disciples now. You've got Brendan Rodgers, Aitor Karanka, Andre villas Bias, Steve Clark as well in many respects. What do, you, what do you see in them? Do you see them taking aspects? You know, I don't like the word disciples because... Uh, <laughs> Not all day, probably. Because um, I, don't, I don't want to put them, all of them, in the same, in the same dimension. And when I, I, if one day I have to speak about disciples... Uh, the real one is the one that is with me uh, since 2000. Uh, the one that has more potential than, than, than any other one. Uh, the one that if he wants to become a manager tomorrow is more than ready to do it at the highest level. But is the one that simply is enjoying so much um, to be what he is that doesn't have that that feeling but if one day i have to i have to choose my my successor if you want to to to, to use that the one that i really feels that um sings like me uh is adapted to my way of uh, of of lead is adapted to my way of coach is the one with more similarities with me even in in some traces of personality He's my assistant referee. He's been with you all the way through. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. What's your best quality as a coach? If you had to examine yourself, you had to look out and see what other people say about you, what's your best quality? I think the best quality is that um, what people say doesn't influence me. Because in this moment, I think uh, is a crucial quality in a, in a manager. You know, the world changed a lot, media, um, communication, uh, you know, pundits, analysts, journalists, people with needs to, to have an opinion, people with needs to criticize all the time. I think you have to be very strong, very independent, uh, very conscious about uh, your ideas, don't be influenced by by critics, don't be influenced by opinions, you know, try to live, you know, like surrounded by by a box that allow you to to sing by yourself and uh, and to be very, very strong, I think is very important. I suppose that's easier for you because you're insulated by success, but you need strong people around you as well to do that. Ah, but even in success, because to live with success is not also easy. Um, there is something I have to to start working with with my players in day one this this preseason. I, I have the experience of winning uh, eight titles, so I know what is the next year after after a title. Uh, to deal with success is not also easy. Uh, there is something that we all in the club, not just me and the players, everybody in the different areas uh, supporting the players. We must find the right mentality, the right attitude, because to deal with success is not also easy. You talk about methodology, other managers talk about football philosophy. Is the abiding drive for you just to win? And would you be prepared to win at all costs? You know, I don't know what is all costs. Uh, I don't know what is all costs. What I know is that, um, is that to win, you, you can win it once, um, occasionally, you can win it once not being good, you can win it once because you were very lucky, but to win it so many times, you can't do it without the top, the top quality. So it's very funny because the best team of the history in La Liga, Real Madrid, 100 points, 126 goals, the team with more victories, with more points, with more goals, 
менеджер да дефенсив Джозе Мориньо. Премьер лиг, рекорд оф поинтс, Челси футбол клуб, 2005-2006. Менеджер да дефенсив Джозе Мориньо. There is something that is, that is not... That is not right. You're putting up a good defence now as well. <laughs> Pretty good. Have you mellowed with time? Have you feel more relaxed in the job? Have you mellowed as the years have gone by? No. No, I'm, I'm, I'm the same. I'm the same. Probably I have more capacity to, to understand what is fundamental and what is not so fundamental. Probably I can analyze better what surrounds me and uh, focus on in what is really important and don't care so much with things that are not fundamental. I think I have more this capacity which allows me to be a little bit more relaxed. I think it's, it's easier for people to live with me and these people is, is easier also for me to live with myself <laughs> because I think I'm more uh, more capable of to understand really what is very, very important, what is important, what is not so important, and what is not important at all. I think this is what the experience gave me. But my, my nature is the same. Is the same. We look forward to that all season. Thank you. Thank you for your time. You've been Thank very you. generous with your time, Jeff. Thank you.